Hello. Uh, in this lesson, we are going to work on uh, our posts, okay, for the dashboard. Uh, so uh, to start, we are going to uh, generate a controller. Uh, this is for uh, admin um, dashboard, okay. So this is a singular. So I just want to have uh, an index uh, listed. All right. So now that we've done that, we can um, go into our roots, Command P and roots. I'm going to add um, resources here and pass in a uh, dashboard to it. Okay, so remember it's a singular dashboard and only uh, index. So we could go ahead and um, get rid of this here. All right, so now that we've done this, um, which we have done a few times now, we can go into our controller space uh, dashboard, partially type it and it, it gives us the index. All right, so what we want to do here is um, open up the uh, in the index.html for the dashboard. Um, I'm just going to change a few things around here. Uh, get rid of this and uh, change uh, change this. And in fact, we can uh, get rid of this all together. So we have our dashboard h1 and h2 will be post. Um, so now we can uh, go back into our layouts admin and uh, copy this line, uh, paste it twice. Uh, before we go any further, I'm going to uh, say rake roots. So because uh, our dashboard was a singular, um, the roots is slightly different. So we just have here admin dashboard uh, index. All right, so we can copy that and paste it here on underscore path. So we can change this from notifications uh, to dashboard. All right, so now when we refresh our page, we'll have a dashboard link, which takes us to our index for the dashboard. So we have two links, uh, create new post and uh, view all posts in our case. All right, so I'm going to start by uh, generating uh, a link here. So we can have um, uh, create, uh, create new uh, post. And as usual, we have the path um, here. So it's new admin uh, post path. All right. And uh, we end it there. Uh, let's quickly have a look and see. We have a create new post is there. So that's fine. Put a line break and copy this line and paste it and remove the uh, line break there. And uh, so the second um, will be to list posts. Okay, and as usual, we have uh, admin uh, posts, plural, and then have a go, and we have our two links there. So now we have to uh, iterate over uh, posts. So I have um, installed a, a Bootstrap BS3 plugin. So if you don't have that, pause and type the table out yourself. And um, copy and paste this a few times, okay, four times. And we have title there. We have replies here <clears throat> and we have uh, down here, we have the date, then we have the actions. All right, so we are going to copy and paste this um, three times. So we have four different table dimensions. All right, so let's uh, save into our posts uh, instance variable. So I say, get me the last five. So this will give us the last five records created. And over here, we are going to catch that instance variable posts and uh, iterate over each and reference each as posts. And uh, down here, we can end our loop with an end. Just select everything and hit the tab key to indent. And in here, we are going to use the posts and send a message to it called title. And this will give us a title for the post. Uh, so now when we come here and refresh, we should have uh, some titles. Uh, the titles are quite long, so we want uh, to say truncate and then say post title and give it a length um, to something like uh, 40 characters and then say separate uh, with a, um, a space. Okay, so now we have um, a truncated uh, title. Okay, so the second uh, is posts.comments.count. So I want to count how many comments a post has. Okay, so that gives us the replies there. 
um, so accounts or something you can use on any um, thing that's iteratable. All right, so we have time ago, we have post dot uh, created ad. So this will give us the uh, when the post was created. So about six hours ago in my case. And then actions. Actions are things we can do uh, to our post objects. So in this case, I want to be able to uh, edit um, the post from the dashboard. So, so edit admin post will give it the post we want to edit. All right, so let's have a look. So there we go. If I click on edit, it takes us to the page with the forms uh, details. So let's um, copy this line <clears throat> and paste it twice and uh, change um, edit to view. Uh, remove edit from here. We still need to pass something we want to view. And then let's see what happens. So now we can click on view and it takes us to the view. All right. Um, so the last is the uh, delete. So delete is the same, we need to pass something into it. So that's fine. Uh, to make it different from edit, uh, from view, we can now give it a method uh, as delete. And as usual, we could say data uh, confirm. So in here, I say confirm. And as uh, are you sure? And now we can, uh, for example, delete this record, office list and then click on here and it's gone. So we always have um, five records shown here uh, if we have up to that in the database. So we have done this, we can view a list, we can click on show links and it shows us this and we can also edit and delete. So I can select all this and mark uh, fade this away. All right, so um, this is what we have done in this lesson. Uh, in the next lesson, um, we are going to work on the comment section. All right, so that's it for this lesson, and I'll see you in the next lesson.